Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jesse. In today's video, we are basically going to be closing out April 2020, which means we are going to be stuffing the last check for this month. So if you guys are interested and want to know exactly where we're going to be putting our check, make sure to stick around and watch the entire video. Okay guys, so welcome back. Again, we are going to be stuffing the last check for April. Now, before we get started with the video, I had asked you guys in the community tab if you guys wanted to see Bailey. Bailey is the in-laws dog. So take a well, let me give you guys a little backstory on Bailey. Uh, my wife ended up buying that dog back in 2000, I would say 17 if I'm not mistaken or 18 something like that she bought the dog she took it home and then Bailey became the house sensation so I put I put a picture on the community tab and wanted and asked you guys if you guys wanted to meet her so at the end of the video I am gonna be showing a clip of her if you guys are interested that way you guys can see how uh, cute that dog is okay it is a Yorkie so today we are gonna be stuffing this cash that you see right here so let's go ahead and just count it first and then go into it so we should have nineteen hundred dollars right here so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen nineteen hundred dollars all right perfect so we are going to be putting 1900 right here i am using a new pen this is a pretty nice one i don't know if you guys have ever used this pen let me see if i can zoom in let me see so you guys can see this these pens are really nice they write very nice but again let's go into it so this video might be a little bit shorter than the rest of them but we're basically going to close it out so we are going to be basically counting how much money we have in these envelopes so you guys can see and i guess we can start from there so let's start with the rent so for rent we are going to be stuffing 400 dollars today so that means that since we do pay 1600 we should have 1200 here so one two four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve perfect so we have twelve hundred dollars there okay now I am going to be asking you guys a quick question here on the on the uh, little poll I'm going to have here on the screen. Starting May, I am going to be doing weekly check-ins with you guys so you guys can see how we're doing with their money. And make sure to vote right here if you guys want to have that. It's a new series I want to start off on this channel maybe every Friday. So just vote really quick and I'll, I'll greatly appreciate it. So for gas, we did end up using money for gas already. We did fill up for groceries. Looks like we don't have any money. We did end up using for that. Sorry, the other one, it wasn't car gas. It was gas for the apartment. This is car gas. Car gas is nothing. We did fill up not too long ago. Cell phone as well. That's basically spent. Student loans, also spent. Let me see, car insurance, done. Parents, done as well. New car. This is basically a sinking fund, so um, just so you guys know that uh, that's a sinking fund. And also the maintenance, okay? So we do have $100 in maintenance. Let me count how much money we have in the new car. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 1500. 1500, have we? Yeah, we already filled that up for this month, so 1500. And just FYI, when it comes to the car, we're also, we also have this little challenge we're doing on this channel where we're basically saving all the cat, all the change. I mean, I'll put a video here so you guys can go check it out. Maybe you guys can get motivated. And basically, this is some of the cash that we have here that we have saved for the month of April. I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna count this today because that is a separate video so you guys can get a, an idea how much we're saving by doing this cash envelope system, okay? Alrighty, so since we have already put in the $1,900 right there, we're basically gonna go through this list and see, and just fill it up, okay? And, and as always guys, the reason I, I didn't print out the April 2020 sheet was because I don't have a printer. I really need to get a printer as soon as possible just to make sure I can print it out and start and so I can use those um, sheets as well, okay? So if you guys want the sheet for April 2020, I know we're at the end. I am going to be putting a link in the description box so you guys can go download it for free. And for coming for May, I'm also going to be providing that for you guys as well. So basically this is how it works. Um, if you guys are new, 
for income, we basically put check one, two, three, and four. The cool thing is for main, we are going to be getting an extra check. So that's, I'll explain that once main comes. And then I'll list the expenses. Basically, these are all the bills that we have. So for us, we have rent, gas, groceries, car gas, cell phone, student loans, car, insurance, and parents. And then here at the bottom, we have the sinking funds, which is new car and car maintenance. And then here on the total, we basically write down how much each of these expenses are basically how much they cost us on a monthly basis, right? Then after that, these categories that you see right here from check one to check four, basically means that, for example, let's take rent, right? Since we do pay $1,600 a month, each check we divide it by four, okay? Which means each check we will be taking out 400 bucks. And then, you know, just making sure that once rent comes, we don't pull it all at once. That way we don't have that big expense at the end. It's good to divide it up. That's why the cash envelope system is such a great way to start, especially for us since we're a new, newly married couple. We actually reach our six months of being married, um, uh, uh, April 19th. So that's pretty cool. And then again, the other thing I want to mention is like, for example, for gas, since typically it's only like $8, I round it up to 10, right? So if, if it's 10 bucks, I don't divide that, you know, like $3 or $2.50 per check. I just go ahead and just take it out one check. It makes no sense to break it apart to the dollar, okay? All right, with that being said, let's go ahead and go through all these expenses and start. Paul, 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 good girl, good girl. Paul, 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 good girl. The Bailey, Bailey, Paul. stuff you know okay so it looks like everything has been filled but rent okay so rent I'll leave it to the end so for car gas looks like it's already filled so we're just gonna be putting zero groceries it's already filled which is zero car gas zero cell phone zero student loans zero car insurance zero parents zero new car we're done with that. Car maintenance, we're also done with that. Okay, which means is the last thing that we have here to basically add to our envelope is gonna be rent. So we have 100, two, three, four. Okay, so those $400 will be going into this envelope that you see right here. And as always, if you guys are interested in these envelopes, um, they're in the description box. We bought it from, from Amazon. The wife is currently trying to create new envelopes for us to be using on these videos so be on the lookout for that so that means that for today for rent we did put in four hundred dollars let me just put the dollar sign all the way to the bottom and if you guys can see this pen is much nicer than the one that I was using it's kind of it kind of has like a marker feel to it right it's a little bit darker which is why i like it, especially for video so you guys can see it a little bit better let me zoom out a little bit let me see, there we go. Okay, so the rent is filled and now you guys might be asking, what are we gonna be doing with this cash that's left over right here? So basically, it's gonna go straight into the savings. So let me just pull that out. Again, I'm not gonna count this. If you guys wanna know how much we ended up saving, which is actually a little bit more than this, um, than this, um, because one, my check, for my last check that I got, the $2,000 was directly deposited to the bank. So it's basically going to be this amount that you see right here, plus 2000 And I need to do the math. But uh, we already have some cash that we saved for the month in our, in our bank already. Okay, so as you guys can see right there, there's a couple hundred right there. So I'm not, again, I'm not going to count it. We are going to be uploading a video, maybe Monday, if you guys are interested. Just make sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified when we upload that video. That video I like to do a lot. I, I mean, I have the most fun with because I get to count how much money we ended up saving for the entire month. And it also paints a picture for you guys. You know, if you guys want to start budgeting and want to start somewhere, I suggest starting with the cash envelope system because not only do you know exactly where each dollar goes, but you're basically giving it an assignment right like dave ramsey says okay and i know i made a video of dave ramsey i mean i'm not against them i'm just there's certain areas i kind of part ways with them but i mean that's totally my opinion okay 
but again that video is going to be coming soon and it's pretty fun because we have been saving a lot of money just by doing it and especially now since this whole quarantine is happening we are saving much more money because it's just you know it's unfortunate that everything is closed but you know we're not spending a lot of money on gas on restaurants although we do buy from restaurants here and there just to support the businesses around here but we are saving much much more we're just taking advantage of it and honestly we're very blessed because you know a lot of people have lost their, their jobs currently and myself and my wife are still financially stable it, we, it hasn't impacted us financially at all which i'm very grateful but um i just want to mention guys make sure to stay safe out there if you guys have been hit financially it's uh i mean i have been hearing that you know unemployment they are going to be providing a good amount of money for unemployment for folks so if you guys haven't applied for unemployment make sure to do it as soon as possible but um other than that thank you guys so much for watching the video doesn't have to end here i'll put some videos here on the screen so you guys can go check them out other than that that's it for me today and i thank you guys for for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out everyone have a good one